So let's get to the nitty gritty. I was dumped after a week, which is fine because you know it was only a week. I still don't, don't know who the fuck this motherfucker is. Right now I'm getting ready to meet up my friend. We're gonna get some drinks. It's about that time of the week, you know what I'm saying? To get that drizzy drink going on. So I knew it was coming. Everything was, you know, rosy until he started being distant and started, like, you know, not texting back, like, you know, good night and shit like that. And I was like, this motherfucker, like, come on. Like, we live in a world where cell phones are next to us 24 fucking 7. So if you don't reply back within 10 minutes, your ass is trying to insinuate something. So then we had plans um, today, actually, to have a, a movie night at his house with you know, I was bring some drinks, you know, be a cool motherfucking date, bring some vodka. And then he canceled, of course, last minute. I, he said that um, he had a plumber that had to come by or something, which I knew was bullshit because you had to fucking, like, schedule a plumber to come in, they don't come in same day. Unless you fucking Kim Kardashian and that ain't the issue here. Right now I'm applying some tinted moisturizer, you know, just to look human again. That just makes this a hashtag tutorial. So then I, I put, I, you know, I said no problem, whatever. I know he was fucking, like, you know, just be honest, you know, like, I don't have time to be fucking, like, waiting around. So I straight up told him, like, hey, are you still interested? Because you, you don't seem as sociable as you did before. And he's like, honestly, I don't really have the time to put forward to a relationship. And I'm like, that's all I wanted to hear. It's like, why can't you just be honest from the beginning? Just don't fuck with me. First of all, you're lying about that fucking plumber shit. And I know when someone's lying. Like, I don't have to be there in your fucking house to know that you're lying about something. Like, I was given a gift of just fucking knowing that... That's why I've been single for fucking 60 years, because everyone lies, and even little white lies gets to me, especially at the beginning of relationships. It's like, don't fucking lie to a person who knows how to read lies from a fucking decade away. So now he's saying he ain't interested because he don't have time for it, and I'm like, really? To be honest, I met him on a fucking dating profile. And I'm like, well, you know what? You shouldn't be putting out yourself out there like that, saying you want to find a hot nerd, what his fucking profile said. What the fuck is my brush? So that kind of ticked me off. It's like, don't leave niggas on. Like, you know, be honest with yourself. And that's another reason why I don't date people my age. I'm 24, but this bitch just turned 23. I feel like I'm more mature in my brain. When it comes to, like, common sense and life. I need my skinny brush. Where the fuck did I go? One second, show off. So, point is... Just don't lie to me because... I know when someone's lying. That's why I don't have gay friends either. I just can't deal with like gay drama and shit. Like, I am not sad I don't have gay friends. Like, to be honest with you, I don't have any gay friends I can call up and be like, what's up, let's hang out. Or someone who I talk to every day who I tell all my secrets to. That person is my sister. And I am fine with it. The gay world needs to be shamed because y'all just some abnormal motherfuckers. Like, you're worse than girls. Like, seriously, you got a dick? Act like it. 
But on that note, good night. I'll be drunk the next time you hear about me.